I, 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 I need a good lie. Oh, okay. How about the whole man walking on the moon thing, you know? <laughs> you, 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 can, you can see the strings, people. <laughs> of you have already seen and with the intent of, of pointing out some of the things that we observed on the, the spot which may not be obvious to to those of you who are who are uh, looking at them here from the sur surface of earth the flight, as you know, started promptly. And I think that was characteristic of, of all the events of the flight. The Saturn gave us one magnificent ride. Both into Earth orbit and on a trajectory to the moon. Trajectory to the moon to the moon. I'm Don Pettit. I'm a NASA astronaut, and I'm on the International Space Station. <laughs> into the black void. Into the black void. We were never able to see stars. Into the black void. And we could not see stars. As you can see the stars. Oh, yeah. We were never able to see stars. As you can see the stars. The sky is uh, a deep black. As you can see the stars. We were never able to see stars. As you can see the stars. I don't remember seeing any. I don't, we could not see stars. The sky is uh, a deep black. I don't, we could not see stars. When viewed from the moon as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the Earth and the moon, the space between the Earth and the moon. The sky, of course, was black. As you can see the stars. Oh, yeah. And you can see it during the day. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon. And you can see it during the day. 
When you're in space and you're looking into deep space and you're on the sun side of the orbit, uh, the sunlight washes out all the starlight so you can't see any stars. But you can see it during the day. Just like here on Earth. But then when you look out into deep space away from the sun, it's the darkest black you can imagine. The darkest black you can imagine. The sky, of course, was black. Or you can see planets. But you can see it during the day. Yeah, you right? can see moons. You, you see the, ga the gas, uh, ga the gas. Uh, you can see uh, the... I think we can look forward to going back to the moon again, but not just for a visit, to settle there. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology, and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. But we uh, destroyed that technology, that technology, but we uh, destroyed that technology. We destroyed that technology, that technology. I'd go to the moon. I'd go to the moon. But we uh, destroyed that technology. And no, I go to the process to build it back again. I'd go to the moon. We destroyed that technology. That technology. I'd go to the moon. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. That's the farthest that we can go in this new system that we're building allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, and moons, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to. The moon, Mars, asteroids, the moon. The sky, of course, was black. I see, you know, so many stars and planets. It's a palpable blackness. It's not just dark. It's, it's uh, forever. No, don't give me that NASA bullshit. And we cannot see stars. You can see the stars. Zodiacal line. You cannot see stars. We were never able to see stars. Because you can see the stars. Oh, yeah. There really are billions and billions of stars, and you can see them. I mean, you cannot see stars, and you can see them. We were never able to see stars, and you can see them. I don't remember seeing any. But you can see it during the day. Retard. Might require spacewalk. Spacewalk.
never able to see stars. You, know, you can see it, but you can see it during the day. good engineering. We had uh, uh, some difficulties in perception of, of difficult in perception of, of difficult So it's more like floating in water all the time, not, not swimming in water, because you can't pull against the air. You can't pull against the air. It doesn't, I'll show you, it won't take me anywhere. It doesn't, I just stand here. Oh, maybe I'm rotating a tiny bit, a tiny bit. You can't pull against the air. Oh, maybe I'm rotating a tiny bit. NASA bullshit. Then you have a leak. Retard. Real good engineering. And if you understand the math, if you understand the physics, it will allow you to go out and get a neat job. A job sort of like mine, where you're an astronaut and you can fly in space. stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon. And we could not see stars. There really are billions and billions of stars and you can see them. I see. There are so many stars and planets. I don't remember seeing any. You can 
see the stars. Oh yeah. And, yeah. You know, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. Yeah. It's, it's not a black a cool void. Thing. I mean, it's black, but there's all kinds of little polka dots. There's all the there's all the stars there. The cool thing is about you can see it during the day. Yeah, you can. And there's more than stars. You can see planets. You right. can see moons. You, you see the ga the gas. Uh, Magellan clouds of yeah, the yeah, Milky Way galaxy. Yeah, yeah, you see the Magellanic clouds. Magellanic, see, I, was, yeah. I just thought well, the Magellan clouds. Well, there's a large one and a small one. There's a recent populist sort of wave of, of, uh, of anti-science, as if that's something new. It's mostly because social media has given everybody uh, what appears to be an equal voice. Um, on the corner of, of Hyde Park in London, there's Speaker's Corner, and that used to be the internet, where you could go stand there and yell any stupid thing you wanted. And if people wanted to gather around and listen, that was their choice. But if you, if you weren't interested in whatever that person was spouting, then you didn't need to listen. But now, the internet has sort of turned everything into the Speaker's Corner. So it, you really have to just decide what, what are you going to listen to and what aren't you. And if someone decides to put forward some stupid idea that is patently false, like if somebody says, the sky is orange, you can have an argument about it if you want, but, but it's, it's obviously not true. The sky is orange. The sky is orange. Orange. It's obviously not true. So there's really no point in even engaging in conversation. Or if somebody says, the world is flat, it, the world is flat, it, it's patently untrue. So there's no point in engaging in conversation because all you're doing is, is giving that person credibility for something that we've known for thousands of years to not be true. The sky is orange. So, so I, I just, I don't even worry about it. I don't even worry about it. I don't even worry about it. I don't even worry about it.